Hello and welcome back to another daily A-Level Maths exam question. As we can see then for today's video and today's question, here we do have a question on implicit differentiation. So for this question, then what we've got here is a curve with this equation here. And all we want to do then is just find dy by dx in terms of x and y, right? Pretty standard stuff here. And to find dy by dx, I'm just going to go term by term through the original equation here. So let's just do that underneath them. So starting off with the first term here, which is x cubed, right? If I differentiate that with respect to x, nice and easy, then we just simply get 3x squared. So we get 3x squared there for the first term. Now for the next term here, this is where things get a little bit more complicated, right? Because as we can see, then we have a product of functions here. So we do require the product rule. So if I let u equal 2x here, and I let v equal y, then u prime here, that's the derivative of u with respect to x here, that's just simply 2. And if I now differentiate v here, so differentiating v here um, with respect to x, what I get then is dy by dx here, right? Perfect. Okay. Obviously, the y here, um, or v equals y, differentiating that does require implicit differentiation, but hopefully that's pretty straightforward. So for the second term here, then, once we differentiate that, what we get here then is 2x times dy by dx plus 2 times y. So I get 2y. So we get 2y there. Plus then 2x dy by dx. Perfect. So that's the second term complete. Now for the final term on the left hand side here, that's 3y squared. So differentiating that here, we get 6y, but don't forget that we do not seem to times that by dy by dx, right? We get 6y dy by dx. So 6y dy by dx. And then finally for the right hand side here, that's just a constant. It's 47. So if I differentiate that, we simply get 0. Perfect. What I now want to do here is get anything that doesn't involve dy by dx over on the right hand side. So let's just do that underneath. And once we do that, we obtain the following here. So what we can now do then is factor out a dy by dx here on the left hand side. So let's just do that again underneath here. Once we pull out the dy by dx here as a factor, we obtain the following here, right? And finally, then we just want dy by dx here in terms of x and y. So to obtain that, all we need to do here then is just divide both sides by 2x plus 6y. So let's just quickly do that underneath then. Therefore, dy by dx here is equal to this here. So minus 3x squared minus 2y all over then this here. So 2x plus 6y. And there we go then. Nice and easy. That gives the solution to today's question. 